You sneaky gamblers watching me, Ray Catolo. <laughs> you caught me at an okay time. I'm in between my one meal a day, and so I guess uh, before I down my sloppy gruel, Ed DeRosa told me you could use some Turfway Park advice. <laughs> Come with me. Oh, now I'll have you know I am in fact a poly track expert. I can tell you here that this in my hand is not poly track. It's light brown sugar. And I think the fifth race at Turfway Park for Wednesday, December 6th, is the most vital race on the card. For one, pays off the early pick five, and for two, starts the late pick five, among other bets you might be able to intersperse. Everyone will be using two horses, and they not, none of them are the two. They're the ones outside. The one, Jay Rivers, 9-2 on the morning line, and the three, Late Night Mistress, 7-2 on the morning line. Both pitches, obvious speed. The three, going to take tons of play, uh, given the fact it's a Wesley Ward trainee, and anytime we can beat those kinds of horses, as well as the hype continuing for the Axeman, as he's like 8 for 12 so far this meet, as he rides Jay Rivers to the inside. There's some profit opportunities, especially given it's a maiden race. They don't always play to form, and they don't play to obvious speed on occasion. I'll give you two A's and a B to consider uh, adding on to your horizontals, and potentially even your verticals. First A I would use on my tickets is the number five stirred up. Uh, prime post draw for the sprint distance at Turfway Park and has some workouts and some gate drills that at least signal to me he could work a forward trip. He might not necessarily be the fastest out of the gate, but if he can land in that second or third flight on debut while being probably like the fourth or seventh choice on the board, I think those are fair enough odds to take a stab on him first time out. And with Edgar Morales aboard, uh, that's, that's a kind of combo that I'm willing to take at an overlay going uh, the one turn. If that price is too short and or the race is going to completely fall apart, uh, maybe we can rely on some possibly sneaky form from a horse like the 7 uh, Queen's Legacy from the Thomas Vanberg barn. Uh, this one has one positive work and the rest are just good works over at Churchill Downs. Uh, but again, given an outside draw on debut, might be able to break well and be placed into the right spot. And given that we have two prime speeds to the inside who have both faltered when challenged uh, in their early starts, maybe that does poise a horse sitting from off of it to find their way into the mix. And if this guy's anywhere between 20 and 30 to 1, uh, no matter what, price-wise, is going to be worth the stab on multis and even vertically. And I only have the number 10 Extra Extraordinary as a B because the only thing that really convinces me to use him is the trainer. Uh, Rudolph Brissett tends to do well in these maiden events. Uh, has Alex Achard aboard from uh, the outside post. But to me, I feel like all these combinations are going to warrant him to be the, the wise guy firster in this race. I think a lot of money will possibly go his way. So to me, I feel like he could be a firster where you might hinge some tickets on and be safe. But at the same time, it's possible that he might not be the price that I would prefer. But I, I could see him also working that kind of tactical trip from the wide draw. If you don't cash, it is not my fault.